How's it going everybody? I'm Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video we're going to be going over how to set up Valheim on Linux. So in order to get started I'm going to assume you already have a Linux server that you can SSH into and we're going to do that now. Now that we are connected, if you never ran Steam CMD before, we need to download and install a couple of dependencies. Um, I will have the dependencies up on the screen here for you to be able to uh, pause the video and go ahead and install those dependencies. So, once those dependencies are installed, I'm going to create a new user. So I sudo add user, we'll call it Valheim. We're going to enter the password for the sudo. Then we're going to enter the password for the user we just created. Fill this information. Then we're going to do su Valheim. And now we're in Valheim uh, user. So now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to do make directory. We'll call it a uh, call it server. Enter. And then we will cd into that server, do pwd so we can print the working directory. And we're just going to copy that. And we're going to type in steam cmd. And we're going to let that initialize and download all the necessary files for us real quick. Perfect. Now that that is done, our next step is going to do force underscore install underscore directory, dir. And then we're just going to paste. We're going to add a forward slash to the end of the server. To enter, and then we're going to log in as anonymous. Now that we are logged in as anonymous, we're going to do app underscore update and then 89. Sorry, I'm dyslexic apparently. 896660. Then validate and then hit enter. This is going to download all the necessary files that we need for the game. And uh, let's wait for that to complete. All right, now that that is complete, we can just type in exit. So we do a quick ls. You can see that we have all these files now. One thing that's nice is that it actually gives us a, a Docker file. So if you want to run this in Docker, you totally could. There is a, um, a container for it. Uh, this video, obviously we're not doing the Docker method here. All right, so first thing I'm gonna to want to do is I'm gonna do nano start server to sh. And this is where we added our little config file here. So for my server, let's do uh, Lucian's test server. World to be dedicated password secret. Then you leave the password as a secret. And we're going to do control X, and then Y, then enter. And then what I want to do real quick, because um, when you if you got to update the server right now. It's going to replace all these files. So your start server uh, sh here will be replaced with a new one once you actually update it. So what we'll do real quick, we'll do uh, cp start underscore server to sh. Uh, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it, uh, let's just call it my server start dot sh, right? Enter. Now we do a quick ls again here. And then you can see my server start. So in order to start the server, we are going to screen dash capital S, we'll call it server. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to hit enter, so that sets me into a new screen. And then you do dot forward slash my server start dot sh, enter, and there we go. Server is started. Then you do control A and D to detach from the screen. Uh, if you want to kill the server and turn the server off completely, uh, first, we need to go back into the server, so we'll do screen dash R. That says it's back in the server. Then we do control A and then K. And it's going to ask us to confirm that if we really want to kill the window. We're going to hit Y for yes. Now that the window is killed. So, next thing is going to be doing the ports. So, before we do the ports, we do need a user who can sudo. So, we are going to do su and then my main account. Your account will be different, obviously. Now that we are in sudo, first thing we want to do is going to allow our uh, SSH port. So we'll do sudo ufw 
allow 22. And then we can do sudo UFW enable because by default it is disabled. So if I do uh, status instead here, you see that it is inactive. By default, it will be inactive. So we'll do sudo UFW enable to open up the firewall. We're going to hit yes, confirming the disruption for SSH connections because we have already allowed port 22. Hit yes. And now our firewall is enabled. Then we'll do sudo UFW allow is going to be port 2456 to enter and we're going to do 2457 for the uh, query port enter and that's on TCP and UDP so we're going to do sudo UFW status here and you see the ports are here are opened we need to switch our user back to Valheim so we'll do su Valheim Enter our password for it. Then create a new screen with dash s. We'll call it server. And then we'll cd into the server directory here. And then do dot my server start dot sh. Enter. And now it's starting the server with uh, our credentials and the ports open in firewall. Now, if you want other players to be able to join and play on the server with you, you will need to port forward through your router. Unfortunately, I don't go over port forwarding through your router in these videos just because everyone's router is different and it is nearly impossible to do it for everyone's video. Best case scenario is to just look up what kind of router you have and then type into YouTube on how to port forward for that router. I'm sure there is a video for it. And that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.